strange. Anyway, um, I just wanted to chatter and play with some makeup, since that's about all I do anyway. I've done another one of those rethinks, and because I really, really just don't do reviews of makeup that are popular, or ahead of a curve. I've stripped down my palette collection yet again and I'm down to about 25 palettes and that took some doing because first I had 104 and then I dropped down to 85 and that was one declutter I did. And then I did this one after one more intermediate one. I was down to about 54 and now I'm down to about 25. My granddaughters are very happy. <laughs> Evil children that they are. Now, other stuff. I am in week two of the last eight weeks of school. It, uh, it <laughs> little pity pats. Little heart going pity pat because I don't know what I'm going to do once I have all this extra time. I don't know, maybe I'll make some more content or something. Um, it's probably going to end up being more just chatty stuff and get ready with me's and, and old women wearing strange hair colors and loud makeup and occasionally loud clothes. Just you know, old people being loud. I've put some primer on. I've got sunscreen on. I've got eye primer on. I've got my eyebrows on. I picked out a palette, which is Cageling. If you haven't seen the inside of this, there you go. Lots of pretty colors. I picked this up off of AliExpress and the the side of it says Erinnies E-R-I-N-N-Y-E-S and the name of the thing is Cageling and everything else on here or at least on the exterior of the palette, the little sleeve that it came in, was in Chinese. Well, it was in some form of Asian block prints. And on the back of this one, we have no other information than a William Shakespeare line or two back here. Love and Constancy is dead. Phoenix and, and the Turtle fled. And I'm going, okay, the birds on the front in the cage are phoenixes. So there you go. Um, it's one of my favorites even though I have no... I've looked up Aranese lots of places, including AliExpress again, and the only thing I find is Cageling. I keep hoping I'll find some, another 
palette that they've done because I really like the stuff. It's got like it's in gorgeous colors, and I really like the stuff. With any luck, the camera I currently have, this would be the last film with it because I'm hoping to get my new camera with all of the, you know, automatic zooms and, and remote controls and all that stuff. Yes, I know, I'm like changing my format, but I'm getting a zoom camera now. So it's like, yeah, that's okay. I like the idea of being able to do that kind of stuff because I also still get on and do things like read from my book and you know it, it I've got that tiny little book reading channel I do mean tiny it's got all the eight butts on it and only two people usually watch and one of them's Nona hi Nona um I read some of the stuff from the books I read like the prologue from the novella and some of the poems from the short story poem collection, that kind of stuff. But I'm trying to figure out exactly what I'm going to start doing, especially once I have more time. Time is handy. And yes, I've already put eye primer on. And I was sitting here just thinking about stuff, so I started putting bits and pieces on so that I could go do this stuff. Let's see, where am I going to go first? Um, hmm. I can go with a dark brown or a light brown or a dark green that's a matte that I can put in the outer corner. I think I'm going to do this dark green. They called it parakeet. And that doesn't look a thing like any parakeet I've ever had. But it's a nice dark matte. So it works well out here. You know? Anyway, I'm hoping that the mic is picking up. I've kind of got the mic moved away a bit because I've got a half a dozen fans around me. I don't have air conditioning. And while I was trying to get started and get set up and all that stuff, I started sweating, so, which is not attractive. I got my little, those little quote unquote personal desk air conditioners. It's basically just cold water dropping in front of a fan. And, yes, this is why I don't put my foundation and stuff on first, because I can go back in and clean this mess up. Because I always make a mess to start with. Always. It's like, it's my thing. Anyway, now, got that outer part did up. Let's see what I'm going to do with some of the rest of it. I'm trying to do something really, really simple today, just because. Let's see. Anyway, what's everybody doing? Somebody leave me a comment. Tell me what you're what all you're doing. I'm not sure what kind of bird this is, but it's called Trochilus. 
Trochilus? T R O C H I L U S. Trochilus. I don't know, that may be one of them Latin names that goes with the critters. Anyway, this is a kind of a bronzy shimmer. And I'm going to just stick it on here. See what I mean about loving these colors? You get a lot of payoff. And this is a shimmer over nothing but regular eye primer. You don't have to spray it or go crazy to get it to actually show up. Let's tap this here a little bit and kind of get them together. And since I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, I'm just doing it anyway. I have no plan. Very few thoughts. Anyway, I'm hoping now that I'm about out of school that I'm going to have more time for writing, more time to do films, more time to do a lot of stuff. Now, the class that I am currently in is really interesting. It's on globalization. And one of the things with globalization is having to learn where one society will give you one thing and another society you can't go there like that and it makes a difference to how you're able to do stuff kind of like with my writing I picked the topic for my final paper project in the uh, in this class and the paper is going to be centered around the problem of not being able to write about certain things if you are or you can write it, they just won't let you import it. If you are writing about topics that are illegal in their country, even if it's just a description of some people. So, the name of my topic is you can't write queer here. And there's a news article that came out recently where Saudi Arabia has put the kibosh on Amazon sales in their country because they don't censor the books to a point where the Saudis are happy to let them come in as is because of the fact that it's illegal to be gay in Saudi. So even if they were allowing Amazon to be selling there if it was being censored to their preferences. My books 
would never make it through the sensors because I have LGBT plus characters in my books as regular people as opposed to being in the book to be either punished or to be the, the main murder victim or any of that. It's like they're just people in the book. And that would automatically get me booted out of, I think, I think we're at 71 countries where it's still illegal to even be breathing and gay. Um, and the majority of them are a death sentence if you're found to be breathing and gay. So, yeah, that's 71 countries where even if my books got wildly popular, those countries would never see it. That's kind of sad. It really is. It's kind of sad, but it's what is. And I figure that under those circumstances, when we're talking about globalization in this class, that that would be an excellent topic. And so far, the professor is not telling me otherwise. So, yeah, I've started doing the research, and oh my goodness. Yeah, I can find a lot of peer-reviewed, official-type research on countries where it's illegal to be gay or any other of the queer categories, if you want to call them categories. Um, but trying to find stuff on the censorship is a little more tricky. Most of the censorship issues come up in news stories rather than peer-reviewed papers. So. I will have to work at that, finding more research to go with it, but the, I'm definitely including that one news article that brought up Saudi kicking Amazon to the curb, so, I mean, they're one of my major distributors. I write and publish specifically for Kindle through Amazon, and I have a different publishing group that I use for all the other um, ebook formats. It's like Amazon is Amazon. And I have a Kindle. I use my Kindle. I love my Kindle. So yes, I specifically publish Kindle through Amazon. So there you go. It's free. I'm not bitching. Um, the other service is, well, it's the same kind of free that Amazon is. It's free to upload the book and get it out on the electronic shelves or on the, the printed on order stuff and then if and when your book sells a copy, they take their percentage. And I'm like, I'm good with it. Ingram Spark, which gets you immediately on the, the Ingram book lists that go out to all the bookstores, is like 50 bucks up front. And my Limited income self is not coughing up 50 bucks right this minute. I start making some money off the books, I'll consider it. But first I gotta be making something, you know? Gotta be making something. Alright, what am I gonna do now? I've got a deep green that looks mostly gray on the outer corner. I got the orangey brown 
in the middle. And pick up Swan, which is much more metallic -y glittery. We'll see how this goes. Now, you see what I mean? Yes, I will, I will, while I'm doing the edit, I will do the zoom in from there so you can see that this rather chunky glitter, it's not huge chunks, it's not like Vaseline with some craft glitter in it, you know? But it's definitely a chunkier than shimmer glitter. And it's still, it's going on very easily with no extra goop. And I'm going to drag that across just a little bit farther. I really am hoping that the microphone is picking up, but not picking up all the fans. We'll see. I'll try to drop out the background noise if possible. I'm still, still trying to learn the Da Vinci Resolve. There are so many fiddly controls with Da Vinci Resolve that it's taking me a minute. It's like some of the other ones, it's like, here, use this to reduce your background noise. Here, use this to... And DaVinci Resolve takes a few more steps. Because it's basically the free level of a professional editing program. And I really like it. It's a great piece of equipment. Well, great piece of programming. I didn't buy the equipment because they've got, they sell those big editing platform keyboard and, and trackball things. So, okay, I have glitter. Do -do -do -do. Do, 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 that was do, do. Yeah. And then, yeah. right here in the corner, yeah. put some yellow, just for the yellow of it. I don't know. I may yank that. I'm going to put some of this violet over in the other one and decide which one I'm keeping. keep the violet, which means I'll clean this up when I go to clean the rest of this up. And I'm going to put a little bit of that funky bronzy orangey brown under here.
like that. Yep, definitely keeping the lavender. Definitely a little more intense than I've done for a few days. I'm going to run away, clean this up just a bit, and then I will be back and we can finish up all the rest of it. Hold that thought. Yep, I'm back. Anyway, let me sit just a little closer. This is with the cleaned up version. A little cleaned up. Problem is, I have fibromyalgia, and sometimes fibromyalgia means that my eyes are going to water like crazy for no good reason, which they decided to do while I was cleaning everything up. And this eye looks a little strange because some of the eyeliner kind of bled into the lower waterline because of all the tearing up and it's annoying the other thing I have a problem with is my handshake so not everything is always perfectly straight but I've got some mascara on I've cleaned up the eyes a little bit I've got some of the brown under the lower lashes I've got a bronzy pencil that I stuck in the waterline I know the waterline is going to very likely disappear anytime soon now because of the watery eye thing, but what the hell, it's just makeup. Anyway, that's as far as I've gotten, and I've powdered just a little bit to get it to set down. And part of that is because I really like the color and the basic coverage that I get out of the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. But, usually, because this stuff is so bloody thick, I end up either using the e.l.f. Serum Foundation, which I believe they discontinued because I've only found it at Marshall's most recently. Which is really runny. But when you mix them together, they're perfect. But I've also started using some of the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer to thin the camo out just a little so that it actually will go on without having to take a hammer to it. And then, since that extra moisturizes everything, I powder it down just a little bit. And then I keep checking it to see how much it's settled into the wrinkles. Let's be real, I'm going to be 64 this year. I has wrinkles. I've got them. And I don't deny them. I may try to reduce the, the appearance of them just because it makes them a little less distracting. But I've got wrinkles. I've got them. That is not going to change. They're just going to get worse. <laughs> and if you are lucky enough to live long enough, 
you may have some of your own wrinkles to deal with. Wrinkle proud people. You got to earn these and you got to survive to get these. Start looking at them as ribbons and battle stripes instead of signs you're getting old and decrepit. You don't get anywhere without earning some wrinkles. It's not something people should be ashamed of. Getting older is not something awful. There's a lot of people, a lot of people, and lately lots of little kids who were never going to have the privilege of being old enough to have some wrinkles. I'll take them. I will deal with my wrinkles. Okay, little bronzer here. We're gonna put a little stuff. Yes, I am elfing myself into a corner again, like usual. Uh, got rid of a bunch of my blushes and my bronzers, especially all the little tinky ones that came in the boxes and stuff. Like I said, my granddaughters are very happy. <laughs> but this is the e.l.f. powder bronzer with a bit of primer in it. And I like the color and I like the way it lays. It's kind of nifty. And I like the way it lays. And I bring it up a little bit higher than some people think I ought, but at this point, the apples of my cheeks that used to be up here is now down here. Down here. So, you know, I'm kind of drawing in a new landscape. bring it up just a little higher. Still kind of fill in the hollow down there under the cheek a little so that it's all kind of one shadow going down there. And put just a fine bit along the jawline trying to distract from them gels. <clears throat> now, I'm not fat. Really? I know exactly what I am. I've known exactly what I am since I was a kid. And I am round. used to be rounder. Yes, I have lost some weight at one point. For any of you who haven't been hanging around that long, at one point I weighed over 450 pounds. Okay? 450 pounds. That was a whole lot of me. <clears throat> that was a whole lot of me to be. I've got my e.l.f. blush. Again, it's the powder blush with the little bit of primer in it. It's another one of these colors that I really like. It's a pretty setting. And I have tended to start higher up lately just because I don't come as far down as I used to. I kind of stop back up here just a bit. I don't come all the way to the, the, the bottom of the apple because the apple has sagged. So I get 
up here and bring it down and kind of just fade out right about there. But I keep some color in my face. By doing that, I'll put just a little right along there. I don't do much on the bridge of my nose because of my glasses. Yes, I don't wear my glasses often while I'm on here because then all you get is a glare from the lights. And that ain't doing either one of us any favors. And then I'm going to take one of the pieces that I did keep because I don't care how much they beg. They are not getting my Star Island from Ofra. They can kiss my... Never mind. <clears throat> but they ain't getting it. I ain't dead yet. I wanted my Ofra. I was keeping it. And again, I don't come that far down. It's just right through here. And I will kind of skim along the top of the eyebrow. And then, if I'm feeling froggy, I take it under the eyebrow just a little bit into the blend out zone for the eye color. And there is my under brow shine. But literally, I barely touch when I'm going across the top of the eyebrow. Once I do this, I get a little more pressure so I get some powder off the brush. Just to kind of zhuzh that area up a little. Because of my when it eyes, I have a tendency to take the color really high. <clears throat> so it doesn't leave a lot of space between the eyebrow and the color anyhow. So putting a little bit of shimmer in there, kind of the, it kind of zhuzhes up the gap there a little bit because it's a tiny little fine gap. And again with this, I do like, again, just a little bit of shine along the top of the nose. Sometimes a little bit right between the eyes, but up here in the 11s. Because, like I said, I've got glasses. They're going to sit right here and rub the heck out of everything. Put a little right across the cupid's bow little on my chinny chin chin tap some of my wrinkles need to figure out what's going on my big mouth. What am I putting on? I have all manner of colors. Let's see. Let's try this one. 
just for the hoo-ha of it. Okay, lip pencil has a slightly orange tint to it. This one is from AOA Studio, and it's called Insta. Now, I know some people will take a pencil and close in that little Cupid's bow. I don't. I happen to like it. Just because your favorite influencer closes up their Cupid's bow, doesn't mean you have to, if you happen to like the shape of that lip. And me, I happen to like the shape of that lip. Now this is kind of more pinky, but it's got a bit of an orange to it. And I'm doing that mainly because of the kind of orange tilt to the brown in the center of the eye. And I've got her on an orange shirt. It's like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody quite some time back started a wear orange on Fridays against gun violence and I just haven't ever quit. Yes, this is Friday after the 4th of July gun violence issue. I could tell you I'm getting real tired of seeing gun violence on the news. I think what I'm more tired of is some of the things that people are saying that we should do to fix it. There was somebody that has caught the attention of other news organizations who's on, it was on a Fox News, it was one of the commentators that they brought in. and. The man flat out, straight up suggested exorcisms. Exorcisms. Okay. Didn't say nothing about how easy it was for that guy to get the guns. They went, he went back to the idea of violent video games and violence and icky and sick stuff that's on the dark web on, on the internet and 
You should see some of the stuff that's there. Please don't go look it up. It's foul. And I'm like, do you want us to see what's there or do you not want us to see what's there? Well, if we don't go try and look it up, we'll find out whether or not you're telling a fib. Now, I know there is some ugly stuff that you can find on the internet, but there ain't an exorcist anywhere that's going to fix that. <laughs> it's like exorcism. Okay. <clears throat> you know, if my family had found out when I was much younger that I was not straight, I'd have been in for a fundamentalist Baptist soul cleansing, demon outcasting that likely would have killed me anyway. So, and I've had a few people tell that tell me they were going to pray for me, and I'm going, thank you. Okay. hasn't changed my orientation at all. I'm so far out of the closet at this point, I'm in the living room with my feet up. It's kind of like my characters in my books that I was talking about earlier. So, yeah, that's where I am. I'm in the last few weeks of school. And on September the 1st, they will be conferring my degree. At which point, I'll be hotter by one degree. Yes. Ha! There's actually t-shirts that say that. Um... It's a bachelor's. It's a bachelor of arts in letters. Because it's a creative writing course. And whether it's creative writing or journalism or literature, it's in letters. My stole is here. My robes are here. My cap is here. My honor cords are here. All I've got to do is wait to the end of the current class to find out if I make it to the point of Latin honors. You know, that's like the magna cum laude and the summa cum laude and the just plain cum laude. And um, at this point, I am. Um, Point one four points off of being cum laude. I have to get those few squittered points moved up. Just a little. I don't got a lot to go, but we'll find out in a few weeks whether or not I get to shout about Latin honors. Anyway. Yeah, I've got, got my honor cords for, for the International English Honor Society. Sigma Tau Delta. I have worked hard to get this far. Anyway, I've earned some of these wrinkles and a few of the gray hairs I've got covered up up here that uh, came from doing this school thing. Yeah, I'm that old and I still decided to go back to school and have enjoyed the heck out of it. Except when we did math. I'm not, I'm not happy with math. I used to like math. Used to. 
that's another long story and it's one that includes domestic violence so I'm not telling it without doing all kinds of pre-warnings and stuff. Anyway, this is it. This is a old-fashioned type of close-up. Tell me what you think. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. You know, I don't worry about the numbers too much, but I would really like to get out of the 200s within the next year or so, please. I'm not going back down. <laughs> anyway, stay out of trouble. I dare you. And I don't have bail money.